All right, so I'm going to take a break, and instead of dancing and doing something ridiculous, and mind you that Dr. Seuss said that nonsense wakes up the brain, I'm going to go ahead and do a favor for a friend. Muscle contractions explained, all right? This is for all you ladies out there, maybe that you're not um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and you don't really understand the gym and the whole eccentric, concentric, blah, blah, blah. Let's hope, hopefully I can get this across in less than two and a half minutes. So muscle contractions explained. So isokinetic. Let me take a step back. Muscle contractions, all these are in reference to the length of the muscle. Okay, so all the terms, when we, when we look at the terms, all of them are in reference to the length of the muscle during contraction. Isokinetic, so if we think about isokinetic, this is going to be your basic exercise, okay? Your basic exercise. So we can use, you know, the biceps as just the fundamental exercise one, right? That's just you moving, right? The same movement. Kinetic being Latin for movement. Now, within isokinetic, you have concentric and you have eccentric. So concentric, like I said before, I love splitting up the word because the word is telling, it, telling us what it means. Center, cone. So cone is um, Latin, you know, um, I want to be with you. Cone, I think it's two or, or T, cone T. So cone is with. So this is going to have with a center. And we're going to say with a common center, right? So you can even say common, common center. This is going to be like the guy that's doing the biceps at the gym. All right. And he's lifting up, and this is lifting up with him. So look at this. The center is the same. Look at that. And they're going in the same direction. All right, so remember, this is part of isokinetic, which isokinetic is synonymous to exercise. Now let's look at eccentric. Eccentric, so you know eccentric. You know eccentric people. These are odd people, right? These are weird, maybe peculiar people. And also, there's a concept in um, astronomy with the Earth, you know, Africa over there. And there's certain orbits that go around perfect, but there's certain orbits that go in an eccentric method. So once it goes around here, it gets really fast, according to physics. It's really fast, and then it gets shot out here, but then it goes slow. So it's not the same center. It's not the same center. The center's right here with the Earth. Look at this. It's not the same. So eccentric, it's like it's an odd person. He's not a normal person. And this is going to be slowing the object down. And so that's just like this guy again. But instead of the arrows going like this now, the arrows are going to be opposite. So he's going to be letting that dumbbell go down. And as he lets it go down, the center, remember the center for the, the concentric, right? The common center? Look at that. That's a perfect circle. This guy, between this guy and this guy, that center is weird. It starts to get weird, okay? So maybe it looks something like this, right? And um, let's skip to isolytic, because isolytic is kind of like um, eccentric. So this guy, he's letting the dumbbell down, and what is he doing? He is iso, he is lysing his muscle. So his muscle is lengthening as it goes down. So a good isolytic bicep um, person at the gym is going to let their muscles go down super slow. They're not going to just let the, drape, the, the weight drop on the floor. That's not good form. Go down super slow. And if you go down um, slow at a constant rate, that's known as isotonic. So tonic is going to be like tone, right? Muscle tone. The tone's going to be the same. So as you go from, you know, having the bicep, the curl here, and then all of a sudden, then you take it down here, you're going down at the same 
the same amount of time. Okay. And lastly, where is this guy? Lastly, isometric, right? So isometric. So metric is what? Metric is like a metric ruler. Or, uh, yeah, metric ruler. So it's the same measurement. So this is like, this is like you having a weight or having a hand out here, right? But there's no weight there. What's pushing down? Gravity. And you know what's constantly happening? Isometric. You're constantly at the same, or we could even, um, we could do a blank screen, or whatever this is, and we could draw a wall, right? Draw a wall, let's get some bricks in it. You know, I could put some colors in here. But this is like a guy standing against a wall and pushing with all his might, right? He's, urgh. maybe he's got a hat on, right? Maybe he's got a, a badge or something like that. He's the pusher or something. Ah, that doesn't matter. But he's pushing on this wall, and he's pushing, but nothing's happening, right? The wall's not moving. So what is it? Isometric. So if we can go through these a couple times, um, isometric, I mean isokinetic, that's just exercise in general. Cone-centric, think about common center, remember? They're going up at the same time, so they're going to have the same center, cone-centric. Eccentric, what is that talking about? Remember the, that certain orbit, the certain orbit is a bit strange, right? Odd, peculiar. And as you go... Um, as you let the muscle, as the muscle pulls up, you're going to be letting it go down, and that's going to create this eccentric, isometric, right? Same, um, same metros, metros meaning measurement. So it's going to be going down at the same rate. And you know that's also this guy, this. This angry guy, he's getting even more angrier, right? Or, I'm sorry, angrier. Because he's pushing and, and nothing's happening. He's starting to sweat. He's getting real bad. He's going to be here for years because he can't move this thing at all. Isometric, we talked about that. Isolytic, what are you doing? You're breaking. So that's somebody with the dumbbell and they're letting it go down and you're breaking. Lytic, you're breaking the muscle. Isotonic tone. You've got the same tone. You've got the same, we could even say tone or time, right? It takes you the same amount of time. You're not going, whoo, whoo, right? And, ah, uh, no, you're going, boom, 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 and letting it go down very nice and slow. And that guy's very angry. And that is all. So if you like some of this stuff, you know, give me a thumbs up. Don't give me a thumbs down because um, I really don't know what that means. That's not even a thumb. Maybe because I can't draw well or, I don't know, I don't speak well or something like that. But a thumbs down is no good. Why? Because it doesn't tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right. It just, it just says you looked at it and you go, ah, oh, well, this guy's drawing, right? It's a bit weird or something like that, you know, something like this or, or whatever. But let me know in the comments what you think, because that lets me know, that, let me, that lets me put out better material for you in the end. But anyways, this has been a muscle contraction explained for my good friend, Patty Pat.